Here is Glenn Watson. Stands at the top of the key. Now they give it deep on the right corner to Taylor. Now back up top to Webster. Gets a screen from Morrow. Thought about a return pass, but instead gives it to Roby on the left wing. Roby stops on the left elbow. Spin move, pivots, and a wide open shot from the baseline right side from six feet away. And Roby's got four points in the ball game, so it's 45-31. So all of a sudden, you feel like Nebraska can maybe cut into this thing. See if they can get any stops. Here's Zach Irvin in the backcourt, gives it to Derek Walton on the right wing. Now uh, passes it to DJ Wilson, right elbow, fadeaway shot from 12 feet away is good with Glenn Watson in his face. And DJ Wilson, after going over of his first three, gets on the board with that bucket. It's 47-31 Wolverines. Here is Evan Taylor driving from the right corner, loses the basketball, falls on the floor, and Derek Walton picks it up. Hard contact with Webster, no foul. Walton stops in the lane, kicks it up to Abdul Rahman, who fires for three and makes it. Abdul Rahman off the assist from Derek Walton. He's now got 10 assists in the game. Rahman with 13 points on 5 of 6 shooting. It's 50 to 31. The Huskers have to figure out a way to limit Derek Walton. He's been an assist machine. As Ed Morrow turns the ball over now on the right baseline, Walton comes up with it, tries to find D.J. Wilson deep down the court, but Glenn Watson comes up with a steal. Stops at the top of the circle, gives it to Ty Webster. On the right side, Webster with a little bump, and Derek Walton sold it pretty well. Walton falls on the floor. They call offensive foul on Ty Webster. That is Webster's second foul as we look at it again. Little crossover move. Walton's feet didn't appear to be all that set. There definitely was some contact, but... A uh, touchy foul there, Colton. Yeah, it looked just like a basketball play to me, to be completely honest. But I guess uh, the ref saw something that we didn't. But Nebraska coming out uh, very similarly that they did in the first half. but And then Michigan, of course, turning it right back around onto them. And uh, the ball handling, of course, is... Derek Walton fires for two in the lane just inside the free throw line. That uh, will fall. And Walton has, I believe, now a double-double. Nope, nine points, ten assists. One more point, and he will. 52-31. This is the uh, largest lead now as it's now up to 21 points as Glenn Watson tries to drive the lane as the ball knocked out by Derek Walton. So the Huskers maintain possession, working on the left basket. Watson from the baseline will kick it up top to Webster. 18 minutes left, 52-31 Wolverines. Webster over to Roby, deep on the right wing, takes a couple steps inside the perimeter, now kicks it out, McVeigh, right wing three, bad miss off the square, Ed Morrow rips away an offensive rebound and dunks it with authority, and he's fouled. So how about that for Ed Morrow Jr.? His first points since the first nine minutes of the game, Morrow gets the rebound, powers it out of the hands of D.J. Wilson and throws it down. He was about five feet away when he left his, when he left his feet. We take another look, a spin move, took one dribble and dunked it over Derek Walton. Got the foul. Morrow's got six points, and the three-point play is converted. 52-34. to 34. That foul came on Wagner, his second. That's the first team foul of the half for Michigan. It's probably the more, most exciting play we've seen from Nebraska all game long. And Nebraska continues to dominate the Wolverines there from inside the paint. Of course, Morrow kind of, I wouldn't say got lucky, but barely got the handle of the ball there, but... It was a great finish and a great way to convert all three points there. Derek Walton going baseline on the left side on a little curl route. And he tried to pass it on the right wing to D.J. Wilson, but Isaiah Roby flies in and knocks that ball out of bounds. So Michigan will take it from the baseline, working on the right hoop with 10 seconds to shoot. Here's... Rockman inbounds to Walton deep on the right corner. Walton takes a few dribbles, gives it up top. Wagner three, airballed it, and a defensive rebound by Ty Webster. Here come the Huskers in transition. Webster, deep pass to Morrow, and Morrow is fouled by Wagner. As soon as Morrow caught the pass, Wagner made contact, and that is going to be foul number three on Morowitz. On Moritz, Wagner, that's a big call. Second team foul by Michigan. And so good job by Webster to get the rebound off the air ball three and find Morrow in transition and so Watson will take it from the baseline fresh 30 they give it into Ty Webster deep on the right corner takes a couple dribbles puts it up top now gives it in the lane to Morrow double team defense misses the first but a rebound and a dunk by Isaiah Roby back-to-back dunks on back-to-back possessions it's a 16 point game 52 36 17 minutes to go Roby's got six points and the arena still showing signs of life here on Senior Day. As bring you, oh, go ahead, Colton. I was just going to say, Tim Miles on the sideline trying to fire the crowd up even more. He's he's excited. He's If if the Huskers can keep that offense down in the paint, just running like that, he, he's going to be a happy guy. 
So the ball was knocked out as D.J. Wilson had it knocked loose by Ty Webster. So here they come from the near right, to the near right boundary. Here's D.J. Wilson, gives it deep in the left wing to Walton. Walton takes a couple dribbles inside the perimeter. 17-foot jumper is good. Are you kidding me? With Ty Webster in his face fading away, Walton gets it to fall, and he's got his fourth double-double of the year, his ninth of his career. Uh, so it's 54-36, and here comes Roby on a fast break, trying to drive the lane himself. Cannot finish at the rim, but he is fouled, and he'll shoot two. And that foul comes against number 34, Mark Donald, the senior forward out of Monclova, Ohio. As Donald played five minutes, scored five points in that first half, picks up his first personal foul, third team foul, and now Roby will go to the line to shoot two. Roby on the year, very good free throw shooter, 15 of 19. Uh, now 15 of 20 misses the first 54 36 Roby is a 78.9 percent free throw shooter and the Huskers now free throws starting to become an issue three of seven in this game pretty solid against Minnesota on Thursday when they got to the line nine of 12 but Minnesota got to the line a lot more shooting 17 of 25 Roby goes one of two as he sinks the second and the freshman's got seven points he's one point away from tying his career high Scored eight points against Indiana on December 28th. So Roby looking at a potential career night. See how many minutes he plays. 54-37. Michigan on top. They've got the ball in the lead moving left to right on your radio dial. Derek Walton holds it at the top of the circle being defended by Webster. Now moves to the left wing. A little crossover between the legs dribble and a three will fall. Yeah, Looking at Ty Webster in the face. And Walton now two of four from three. He's got a game high 14 points. Walton's been known to take it over a game a time or two for Michigan. It's 57-37 as Jack McVay was coming in transition, tries to fire it over to Morrow in the right corner. That pass was tipped out of bounds by Duncan Robinson. So the Huskers get the ball back with 22 seconds on the shot clock when we return. Timeout on the floor. 15-56 left in the game. Still all Michigan. They lead the Huskers 57-37. to You're listening to Nebraska men's basketball on 90.3 KRNU. 